The NCAA concluded its findings and imposed the lowest level of penalties against the university. U of Lafayette Athletics Director Scott Farmer addressing the media following the release of the NCAA Committee on Infractions report. Allegations against the university stem from David Saunders, a former assistant Raging Cajuns coach. We will not let this define us, okay? It, 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 it is significant. We took it serious, but now it's time to move on. The committee imposed the lowest level of penalties for level one violations with the NCAA's penalty structure, but imposed severe penalties on Saunders. The committee also validates that there was no lack of institutional control, no failure to monitor, and no lack of responsibility by head coach Mark Hudspeth. They are just punishing us because he was our employee, period. Period. They do believe, and they stated in the report, that, that he acted on his own. Saunders was involved in conduct that led to falsifying the ACT scores of five prospective student athletes. Without information from the former assistant coach, the prospects would not have known about the test site location. The university does agree with the NCAA finding for the allegation of invalid ACT scores. UL Lafayette has filed suit against ACT Inc. The NCAA accepted the self-imposed sanctions by the university. Further penalties include vacating some gains from 2012 to 2014 in which ineligible student athletes competed. The penalties do not include a postseason ban. Our university strives to comply with NCA standards and maintains a comprehensive rules compliance program. Throughout the entire process, we cooperated fully with the NCAA. We committed to finding the truth ourselves through our own investigation. And as stated before, self-imposing significant sanctions on our football program. Uh, the panel commends the institution for its level of cooperation. Uh, the university expended substantial resources to expedite a thorough and fair collection and disclosure of information. Scott Farmer, citing the fight song, said the program will fight on. He's encouraging fans to continue supporting the Raging Cajuns. It is impossible to erase the memories that's in, in the spark that was ignited when Brett Bear hit that 50-yard field goal. You can't never take that away. That emotion will always be there. Cajuns, we are strong. We persevere. Our greatest days are still ahead. And for a closer look at the university's response to the NCAA report, as well as a lawsuit filed by the university against ACT Inc., visit louisiana.edu. I'm Chris Waltz, reporting for the University of Louisiana at Lafayette.